Hi, it's Ian, and welcome back to my 30 Days of Taiko Skills. Today is day eight, and I'm talking about the Super Metronome app. So, just like the name says, it's a metronome app that I think is very super in the customization, all the great features it has. And、uh, I use it all the time. Highly recommend this app.、Um, and the main thing about this is that it's like a drum machine app. You can use it more like a regular metronome, but、uh, it's a very programmable drum machine app that gives you all kinds of sounds, different kinds of beats. And full customization for pretty much everything you'd want.、Um, so, I want to introduce that to you and show you a little bit about how I use it for practicing. Here is the interface、uh, on my iPad. And it's,、uh, well, I will kind of go over the main features that I use. There's, there's quite a bit in here that you can. Uh, dig into, but the main thing is that here is the BPM, beats per minute number. So right now I have it set at 70.、Uh, right next to it is where you hit play and then stop it. So right now I have it at the default, very simple eighth note drum set beat.、Um, right below it, you can change the, the, the tempo. You can tap in your tempo if you'd like to. So whatever tempo you're thinking of, you can just tap that and it'll go there. There's、uh, what meter you're playing in. So, right now it's set to 4 4, but you can take it down to 3 4 or 2 4.、Uh, you can go up to, I think, all the way up to 9.、Um, so, 2 through 9, I think, is what is able to be programmed in here. Subdivision, right now it's set to 4, meaning it's a 16th note bass subdivision. So, you can take it down to 3, which would be triplets. Um, or you could take it up to fives and I think sixes、um, for subdivisions. Right below the subdivision is the swing percentage. With, I think this is one of the most、uh, coolest features on apps like this, when you can choose exactly what percentage、uh, you want it to swing. So typically, swing is going to be、um, triplet. So it's going to be、uh, you know, 33% is the typical swing. But in this case,、um, you can choose exactly where you want it. So maybe you don't want it exactly a perfect triplet swing. Maybe you want it a little bit straighter of a swing, or maybe you want it more, more than a, a triplet swing. So you can actually just choose that by sliding that over.、Uh, right below it here is the、um, three parts that you see on top is the hi hat, middle is a snare drum, bottom is the bass drum. So, you can see this cursor going through and it's showing you where it's playing. At the bottom here is your choice of rhythm, sounds, and、uh, bank or different kinds of、uh, preset sounds. The rhythm, right now it's set to the default beat, but I like to go down and oftentimes there's quite a few, quite a few different ones angry rock, <laughs> pop, dry beat, wet beat, ska, and so on and so on. I like to go down to the funk area and get kind of a 16 note feel. So that's funk one. Funk two. Okay. So I like the funk ones because. Uh, there's more 16th notes in there, and I, I'll show you right now what you can actually do.、Um, the really cool part about how easy it is to, to make it exactly how you want it to. So I think I'll go back to Funk 1, and right now the hi hat is playing eighth notes one and two and. All you have to do is, well, right now、um, the downbeats are. More brightly lit, meaning those are accented, and the, the dimmer ones on the ands are the ones that are non accented. So the hi hat's going ch, 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 ch. All we have to do if we want to make it all strong hits would be to just 
make them all uh, bright, brightly lit, and then it goes back to even sound. If we hit it again, it'll disappear. So maybe we only want quarter notes on the hi-hat. Okay, very simple. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to choose ch -ch 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 as the hi-hat pattern that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put back in the softer hits on those, and then Okay, uh, maybe I'll take away this one bass drum there, and then yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll work with that. So anywhere within this four four measure of sixteenth notes, you can choose to add an accented sound, non accented sound, or a rest. So you can pretty much program whatever you feel like doing in this, um, and then I can also make a swing with a slider. Okay, so you can hear how it gradually is swinging more and more. Okay, so uh, we can also have full control on the different sounds by the kind of drum set it is, or you can go down and customize each sound if you want to, if you if you like a certain sound. And of course, you can save these presets if you want to. Uh, the mixer, if, if I wanted to hear the snare drum a little bit less, then I can dial that down. There's all these things you can do, different patterns, and so on and so on. So it's quite feature rich, but I love how simple the interface is and how uh, user friendly it is. So oftentimes I will just, um, depending on what I'm practicing, I might just put it on. And for example, uh, if you're working on trying to make your uh, simple subdivisions, different kinds of rhythms more consistent, you might put it on and just try playing along with it and see if what you're playing can match the feel of this kind of 16 note sort of funk beat. So I can demonstrate that really quick here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I could just be doing this for hours and hours. It's a lot of fun to just improvise or try some rhythms that maybe I'm not quite sure if I'm able to play them uh, locked into the 16th note groove. Um, and I'll just go through those and maybe just work on them or just improvise. And then maybe I will change the tempo or change the feel and just play along with that. So uh, it's a really good way to... Use a metronome. It's still a machine that will keep the beat exactly where you set it. But at the same time, it, it feels a little bit like you're playing with uh, a background track or somebody else is playing along with you. And the ability to customize and hear these other beats that are appropriate for whatever, whatever kind of music you're working on, it's, it's uh, really, really great. So again, I could see if I wanted to add um, all the 16th notes on the hi-hat that might give me a little bit more idea of uh, where I want to place any of the 16th notes.
Okay. That would be the opposite from, for example, only having the quarter notes on the hi-hat, where you don't hear all the 16 notes. So uh, there's different ways to approach that. And I would always recommend, uh, this is what I do when I practice a lot of times, is to record myself where you can hear whatever you're playing plus the metronome, or in this case, the drum machine, and listen back after you record yourself for a while to see uh, from the outside perspective, does it sound like it's locked in? Are there some areas that are not locked in? And then that can help you problem solve and then give you sort of a, a plan um, for how to tackle those issues of rhythmic inaccuracy if you find any of those. So I think it's very helpful to have this kind of beat reference with the subdivisions in there. Record yourself and, and check that out to make sure um, if you think it's on, you have to double check that and uh, record yourself or you could have a teacher check, check you out too. So anyway, that's a little bit about one of my very favorite uh, music apps called Super Metronome. And uh, that's it for today. See you on the next one.